how's it going today? So I got a really fun album for you uh, using a new-ish paper pad. Uh, I haven't used it ever, but it is kind of older than what they have out in the stores now. Uh, but it's called Llama Love. And I believe Recollections did one or um, Craftsmith. But it's, uh, it's kind of along the same lines as the other one, just different colors and patterns. I mean, the same gist though. But anyways, I loved working with this paper. It was super, super fun. So let's go ahead and get started. So the album I made today is seven by five and a half. And then um, the cover is uh, seven and a half by five and three quarters. So it's not too much bigger than the actual album itself, but um, nonetheless, it's still beautiful. And so um, I actually did something different. I actually used some rosettes on the cover. I, n <laughs> I never do that. And uh, I just kind of wanted to see how it would work. Um, I don't know how I feel about it yet, but you guys can let me know in the comments. And so let's get a closer look. I just have a little collection of things here. Flowers, little embellishments, um, some little gold uh, thickers here, more flowers. And then, of course, here's the ribbon. And I did use a green canvas but then I put glitter canvas over it on the spine and then there's the back and this paper is just so fun and festive I just love it all right so when we open it up we get this beautiful bright yellow color that you'll see throughout the album and um, I don't know I just love it it just reminds me of my grandma she loved the color yellow and um, it's just super super fun so um before I begin this video, all of these are pocket pages, but guess who forgot to make the actual inserts? Yeah, that would be me. <laughs> okay, so uh, I did bring some pictures for reference, but I did something a little bit different on this album as well. So you'll see here in a second. Um, all right, so for this first one, I did a belly band page, and it has a lot of spots for 4x4 four four photos. So one, two, three four alone here and I brought a little four by four to show you there we go and you still get all that beautiful paper in the background um, and then so this is what you'll see throughout the whole album um, at least they tried to do it I wanted to see how I felt but I see people put um, little photo stamps on their mats and I found this cute one that I've used it before but uh, just not often enough and so I wanted to try it in these, this album. But anyways, here is a 4x6 photo. And it is double-sided. Um, and then um, over here, this is probably one of my more favorite pages. It has like this little cactus background. Um, and I made a little pop-up frame. And it will fit a 4x6 in there very smoothly. There we go. And then, I don't know if you can see it here, but... It does have some words on the actual frame. It says, Happy Everything. So that's pretty fun. It's a little uh, Project Life card that was see-through or acetate. And so I actually just use that for my frame, um, for the inside of my frame. So over here, I have the word lovely with some thickers. And then over here, it's a little side pocket with another spot for a 4x6 photo. And this does open on the side. So that way you can... Um, Anyways, put your photo in there, and then of course you could always put it on the back just to make it, um, you know, you utilize more space in your album. And then if you have any extras, you can always put them in that pocket. Okay, so for this page, I made a spot for some uh, three by three photos, and I don't have any three by three ones, but here's a little two and a half by two and a half. And there we go. And then these I just free cut from the tags that were in the actual collection. And then the little llama. <laughs> these llamas are going to be throughout the whole album. And they are so fun. I love their faces and their expressions. <laughs> They're just so cute. So uh, I just wanted to make this album all llama. And then um, here we have a little cactus sticker. I, I got this from I think Michael's last year on Christmas. And it was just in my collection, so I was like, you know what, why not? So anyways, I made a little magnetic um, strap that, and that they can put journaling right here. And then there's all these spots for photos. So as you can see, I still have stamps on all these, um, these uh, pattern paper and embossed paper. So um, super fun. This one holds one, two, three, four, five, six, six photos in this little flap. 
Um, all right, and so for this page, it is a three and three quarters by four and a, <laughs> a quarter. It's kind of a weird size, but I was like, oh, well, I was so dumb. I, well, I don't know why I didn't do four by four, but hey, that's what, just what my brain was thinking at that time, I guess. But anyways, you can also put a four by four here and still get that beautiful paper in the background. Um, and then I added some little butterflies on some pop dots there just to kind of make that page pop a little bit more because there was I don't know it wasn't enough glitter for me <laughs> okay so for this page it is a double pocket page so here's the first pocket it has two little tags that were just hanging around in my collection and then there was this tag that was an actual paper stack as you can see it has that beautiful gold foil on it and I just added this rose that I had um, hanging around you know I always have some extra Cricut cuts um, and then here's a little photo mat, 4x6 photo, and then here is that double pocket. So I have this little, um, nice little butterfly, butterfly border right here, and I thought that was super cute. So anyways, we'll just put all that back in there. And then I, I love little st stuff to journal on. It's just, it's, it's a nice way to capture the moment. And then for the front pocket, I did a little collection of my homemade flowers, a little gold accent with the thickers right here, XOXO. And then for this page, I just did a kind of like a blank spot for a photo. Put a 4x4 or a 4x5. There we go. And you still get that filigree all the way around. And then, um, Here's a little fun page over here. So it says the word favorite. And then you can fit a four by four. I don't know why I write four and a quarter by four and a quarter. The whole album, I don't know what I was thinking, but it does fit a four by four better. Because you still get that background, very, you know, a lot of the ba background because the paper is embossed. So, anyways, when you open it this way, I'll slide the album over. Here's oop, here's a spot for a 4x6 photo, and there's that fun, another fun llama sticking his tongue out. And then here's a spot for a 4x4 photo that just says dream, so that is open on the back. There we go. And then you open it this way, and there's more spots for photos. Um, and then so of course here's a spot for another 4x4 photo. I just love how this hot pink... Um, and the blue kind of just popped out this black paper. It's probably, I don't know why, but this black paper is my favorite from the whole collection. Um, aside from that cactus paper. Oh, I don't know. So many cute things in here. Let's move on, Julie. I'm just losing, losing track. All right. So anyways, here's a spot for more 3x3 three three photos. And I did leave this one open in the back. There we go. And there's that. And then I free cut these, of course, from the tags that were in the collection. And then for this page... Thought this was fun. I just did a little tassel ribbon up top. Here we go. And I love, I just love it. I think I got it at Michael's. Um, and anyways, I added a uh, gold sticker here that says favorite. And then, of course, here's my favorite pocket style. So it's a belly band right here. And then I just added a little journaling card with a spot for a 4x6 photo. And then when you open it up, there's a little pocket right here. And then another spot for um, more 4x6 photos. And of course where you can just put the photos in there um, if you don't have any photo mats to put them on. There we go. And it just slides in there nicely. And then it closes that pocket, pocket up for you. And then for this one, I made um, one more little frame that'll hold a 4x6 photo. And I just decorated around it with some flowers that match the background. And there we go. So um, I hope you guys like this album. It is pretty thick and heavy. So when I put the pockets in, it'll be a little bit heavier. But um, I hope you guys enjoy it and let me know what you think. Bye.